Hello everyone here at our CLM Connect groups and family. Most of you are probably meeting virtually this week. We're so excited we can come into your home, come into your hearts, and have a time to have some community and fellowship around God's promises, His Word, and with His Spirit as well. I want to look at one text from our sermon this week, Animals in the Kingdom, and we're talking about wolves, the silence of the lambs. Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Here's what it says. This is Jesus speaking, and he says, Behold, I send you as sheep in the midst of wolves. The Great Commission is important, but sometimes we encounter wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. A lot of animals used in this one verse alone. What is Jesus trying to tell us? He's saying, as sheep, you have my divine nature given to you. Remember, you're a new creation in Christ Jesus, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. And he's saying, my sheep, as we heard last week, they know my voice. They follow me. But what are wolves? Well, wolves, interesting, are, are animals of prey. They like to prey on the innocent and sick and elderly uh, and weak animals. They eat lizards. They eat snakes. They eat fruit. They eat birds. They eat deer. They eat elk. They even attack moose when they're in packs. And of course, they go after sheep as well. And oftentimes, Jesus used the parable of wolves in sheep's clothing. That's Matthew 7, 15. So there he says, wolves can disguise themselves as sheep. So my question to you is, we have to be wise to recognize wolves that may have hurt us even in our past or may be set up to come against us in our future. That doesn't mean we want to be judgmental and critical or suspicious of every person. But we want to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. What does Jesus mean? That serpents know their terrain really well. They know how to hide really well from a wolf's because they know their prey. Because a wolf has 42 teeth and their teeth can crush bone. And the pressure of their jaw is 1,500 pounds per square inch. That's how much pressure they can put in their grip of their jaw. And they have big jaws. So imagine how big their jaw is. They can hear for six miles out in the forest, in the midst of distractions. They can smell your scent uh, 1.6 kilometers away. They have 100 times the capacity to smell and distinct, distinct smells from humans, more than even dogs. A dog can smell the last 400 people that sat on your couch and differentiate them. But until we talk about dogs, that's one of the animals we're going to be going down talking about in the future. But for wolves, they're cunning and they are, can see in the night and they're animals of prey. And sometimes they'll draw disciples on them, onto themselves like Acts 20, uh, 29 and 30. Beware of savage wolves that will come in your midst and some will arise from you and draw disciples unto themselves. Paul warned us. So, I want you to think about how to walk in love with people, be harmless as doves, be wise as serpents. Don't want to hurt people. Don't think everyone's a wolf. But you need the Holy Spirit to help you through perception, which is where your spirit can see something and know something. Through discernment, which is God's wisdom coming on your life to take something apart, understand all the parts of it, and know its original intent and what's really going on. And then there's the gift of discerning of spirits in 1 Corinthians 12. I pray that you yield yourself to the Holy Spirit to give you supernatural assistance to discern. Recognize wolves. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray your grace come upon our family today. In Jesus' name we pray, and we all say, Amen.